Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I am really excited and a little bit nervous about this one because I am going to try and make trousers for the first time. Pants, trousers, bottoms. I got this beautiful pattern. This is Simplicity S8447 and it is a 3-1 pattern. Overalls, which you can also make as just the pants and a blouse. And today I'm gonna make just the pants. I really, really love this style of wide vintage trousers. I have one pair that is true vintage that I absolutely love, but it's made of this really itchy wool. <laughs> I can only really wear it on very cold winter days because I need to wear something underneath as well. So I wanted to make something similar in a different fabric and this pattern I think will be absolutely perfect for that and I'd love to make the other two notions at some point as well but for today let's focus on just the pants. So I got myself some fabric online and unfortunately this time it didn't turn out that great. It's the first time this has happened actually since the lockdown which is quite good but yeah this fabric um, isn't the color that it looked on the website. It looked like a much more brownish greenish whereas it arrived as a you know straight up bluish gray. I was just hoping for something a little bit different because the one pair of vintage trousers that I do actually have are also gray. I uh, spent a little bit of time yesterday trying to figure out the size which is always something that I struggle with in commercial patterns. I feel like this one has a lot of wearing ease and it's also a wide pattern so I went with this smaller option. Fingers crossed that it doesn't come out too small. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by transferring my pattern onto my fabric, cutting out my pieces, and then we can start assembly. Can somebody please explain to me why this pattern told me to buy two and a half meters of fabric when there's that much left over? I don't think I used even half of it. Why? Why? Before we move on with the rest of the video, I just wanted to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor because this video is kindly sponsored by Function of Beauty. You guys know I love Function of Beauty. I've been using their stuff for... Has it been a year? Maybe it's been over a year even now. And honestly, this has become my favorite hair care brand. And I'm not ch just saying that because this is a sponsor video. Like, honestly, my hair looks so good since I've been using this and I've been getting more compliments and I've even noticed that my hair is slowly going wavier. I'm just overall very very pleased with the way my hair is looking now. So as you can see I am almost out of my current two bottles of shampoo and conditioner so I got a new set. These ones right here beautiful yellow sets. When ordering from Function of Beauty you can completely customize what your goals are, kind of what you want from your shampoo. I am trying to grow my hair out as much as possible for the wedding and I know this is gonna help me with that. So my hair profile as always is straight, fine and oily hair and my goals this time were hydrate, nourish roots, replenish hair, soothe scalp and strengthen to make sure that I don't go through hair loss again, which I haven't by the way since using this, which is really great as well. The fragrance I went with for this is the cherry blossom kind and this smells like cherry bubblegum which was my absolute favorite growing up. This scent just sends me straight back. I love it. I also got the hair mask. Same goals, same color. I'm using my last hair mask still. It's almost up so glad to have a new one but I really love adding that to my routine maybe once or twice a week to just add an extra boost of hydration. You get to choose the color, the scent, and they even print your name on the bottle, which is really nice. And they change up the scents pretty frequently as well. Oh, by the way, I did get some body care as well. A body wash and a body lotion. And these I got in the scent uh, Striker Rose, which is like a very nice floral, oh, a lovely powdery floral. I absolutely love it. 
The bottles also come with stickers, so you can customize even further if you wish. And I also love that there are no toxins in this, no sulfates, they are vegan and cruelty-free, so that is great. So when you go to their website, there is this short little quiz that you fill out that determines what your hair type is, your current hair type. You kind of fill in what your hair goals are, what you're looking for in your hair care, and then you get to choose all of your personalization, color, fragrance, and your name. It's really quick, really simple, and really helps to pick out the best product for you. So Function of Beauty is kindly offering 20 percent off of your first set if you click the link in the description box so do be sure to check that out a big thank you to function of beauty for sponsoring this video and let's finish these pants it's a new day i'm ready to continue sewing so according to the instructions i am now to make the pocket i am considering not putting the pocket where they want me to put it and only putting it on after the trousers are finished so that i know where the pocket is actually flattering because i feel like pocket placement does a lot to the shape of a garment and how it fits. So I think I'm gonna leave that for a later time and just finish the pants first. In that case, my next step is to sew the inner leg seams. So I have those thin together here on both sides. I'm gonna do that. I'm still very nervous about the fit of this. I've tried to kind of try it on with the seams pinned and everything but it's still very hard to tell i feel like it's either going to be a perfect fit or it's just going to be a little bit off i don't think there's a huge size discrepancy here but i'm just going to have to wait and see themselves are more or less done roughly we come to the point where i attach the button placket or um underlap is what they call it and here is where it gets a little bit more complicated and i don't really understand the instructions when i just read them like this go through them step by step and hope that it kind of becomes clear that way it's going well let's move on progress i have my button strips plackets thingies all done and i am now about to attach the waistband I've made some progress. We're almost there. So last night and this morning I finished the bottom. I made this cuff by folding this 
twice and um, this is slip stitched right here and this is tacked to the sides so the bottom of the legs is done I also finished the buttonholes and did buttons I spent possibly a couple of hours today trying to cover these buttons decided that I officially hate doing this maybe my fabric is just always too thick but for some reason this this never goes the way it's supposed to but it succeeded and now we're here and it is almost 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 finished very last thing I need to do is to attach the pocket I almost forgot about the pocket but then I found the pattern pieces <laughs> so I'm gonna just try on the pants I think and see where I want to place this All right, pocket is in. Had to do it twice because I ran out of bobbin thread after this morning's button ordeal that nearly made me do a table flip, but we're here. It's done. Last thing, very last thing I need to do is to press it to get those beautiful lines down the front and just because I've wrinkled it. And then it's time for the reveal. They are done. Here we are, the finished results. My first ever trousers, pants whatever you call them, where you are. I am honestly quite relieved that they are done because as smoothly as things went in the beginning, towards the end, I started running into little problems that I found hard to fix, I guess. Let me show you a couple of things that happened. So besides, of course, having to redo the pocket, um, the pocket itself has a little bit of an edge here of the inside of the fabric. And the inside of this fabric is white so it shows a lot um, and I don't really like that but you know that's a minor thing the way that this waistband is attached was very very precise and it went wrong in this one point here which makes a little piece of this side bit pop out of the waistband and I tried to fix it several ways but nothing really took so in the end um, it ended up like this and it just you can see it and it bothers me, but I don't think, you know, if I hadn't pointed it out, I hope most people <laughs> maybe wouldn't have noticed. And the buttons were absolutely horrible to do. And some of them are starting to fall apart. So I might just get rid of the fabric buttons and put in some different buttons. <laughs> but other than that, I am very, very happy with how this turned out. The waistband is a little bit loose. I have a couple centimeters left, but I think considering I have to sit and eat in these, it's good to have a little bit of room. The only thing that kind of bothers me is that they do this. Um, they kind of stand up here in the back and I'm not entirely sure how I could remedy that. Maybe uh, I might do like a dart somewhere if it bothers me too much, but for now I think it's fine. Again, it's not a huge gap, it's not super noticeable and it does give me a little bit of room to eat, which I like. <laughs> I really, really like these. I don't mind the color too much actually of the fabric. I think this material is really suitable for this. I'm surprised by how businessy they look, considering the photo or the illustration on the pattern is this very kind of Rosie the Riveter type outfit. That's where I'm gonna end the video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for loads more beauty, lifestyle and sewing videos. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. I want to give a massive thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video and to you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!